be the same situation today. Kung sa itong mga tao before, can still be the same person today. But kung inyong pansinun po, di ba most of what you can see on the Facebook or anyone, any malungong, most people are hopeful. Di ba? Nga untak ka rin atuig, okay na atuig, untak ka rin panahon, successful na paan na, nga rin nga natin yung mga resolution. Most people are hopeful. And it's kind of worry because of the feeling na mura ka hopeful na mura mahita po rin siya. But anyways, di ba we don't know what's gonna happen today or tomorrow or to the future, but people are hopeful. But there is this one thing na ako ang mabili for this message. It's a biblical advice. Now, sorry, biblical advice for making the new year better. Today, nga naman, most people are hopeful that things will become better for this year. Okay, dili man magres, dili man magreset ang kalibutan. Like, like you are trying to reboot a computer, di ba? When you try to reboot a device, tanan mga wala, any data mga wala, mga papalit sa brand yung. Every new year, it's not like that. It's not a reboot. But somehow, people are become hopeful. Correct? It gives us that kind of mindset na even if sa kalagang ganito po, pwede mag-start ko sa diba? Pwede nga na ang feeling ko tao. So this is an advice, biblical advice. It's not coming from me, but coming from the Lord God. And I have here three, no? Three biblical advice for this year. Good evening. Number one, be careful. Let's read Ephesians 5, 15 to 17. Be careful, then how you live. Not as advice, but advice. Making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Even the Bible said, that even if people are hopeful that the coming days will be better and always be better, the Bible says, if you want the world to be perfect again, bubalik kita sa panahon na si Adam at si Eve, wala ka nakasala. Because that was the time na ang sala at karoon at stain sa kalimutan. And the world is not perfect anymore. The ones perfect is not perfect anymore. That's why, di ba, God said, I will make a new earth For those people na nagpadayo na mag ikuban sa kuwa sila kinabuhi will be the ones say directly ako ang pagkubahol kanil nga kanil So, with this one the first advice that the Bible said be careful Asa mong tayo yung careful? Be careful with what? Let's read the verse Be careful then How you live? First one How we live? That's personal way That's personal because we are living our own life. Kaya na, sa mga mga studies na yung people, di mara na pinipin. I made them a circle. And on the first circle, what is that one that we have full control over? Kung sa ito mga butang na 100% na kay control. And most of what they put there is their self, their thoughts, actions, their emotions. Those things they can have control over. And some of that is true. God has given us free will. That means, God has given us things that we don't like control to, which is our what? Our life. Be careful how you live your life. Because ano siya dali? Not as unwise, but as wise. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. What do you mean by the days are evil? There's a lot of things that we can do meaning when Apostle Paul said on the Ephesian church the days are evil it could be literally evil because the world is full of sin or it could be also somehow there are some things certain things that are not good for us but what Apostle Paul wanted to say if those things will come to you No, mga butang nga dili makakatag of comfort sa tua that will really test you as a Christian ano sa dito? Be wise in this world. Be wise how you live your life on that moment. Another one. Therefore, do not be foolish but understand 
what the Lord's will is. Even if God has given us the opportunity to live your own life, still Apostle Paul said, understand what the Lord's will is. That's why Christians, we need to be careful. We might be living our life not understanding what the Lord's will is. Right? Second advice. Be helpful. Ephesians 5 8. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. So, connects about full dera. Asan ang full dera? Let's look at this one. Do not get drunk on wine, or being drunk itself. Uh, have you ever been with a person who is totally drunk? Or have you ever observed a person who is not very drunk? They are out of their mind. No? Siguro pa sila, napa sila sa sakto pag-isip, pa sila, pero but they are not totally in my zone. Being up from here means, hanap ka dili, being filled with the spirit. Dili ko spirit sa wala, di ba nagitawag na spirit na gano'n na? Di ba? At the term spirit, ang term na? But, ang gilain mong dili, the spirit. What is that? Don't you know that you yourselves are what? A temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why we need to be thoughtful when I so on. Always aware that even if God has given us the opportunity to live our own life, still the Spirit of God is living within us. That means, we see that I so on. We're not the one totally living our life, but we are being guided by the Spirit. So careful with your actions, careful with your thoughts, careful with your words, because what? The Spirit is living. Last one. Okay. Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now there is this one thing I can say about being thankful for so on. Imagine a child, no? Na bata, na nai pagkaon, kapal niya mama, di ba? Hindi mo kitagaan, so nila ka, oh, bata, kapal niya mama. Usually, ang ilo sa mama, oh, pag sayo, thank you. Iyon ang bata, thank you, ano, di ba? Usahin mo, iyon ang bata, usahin dili. But one thing I can say about being thankful, mga iso, is that it is our duty to take thanks, to say thanks, but it is also an experience, di ba? It is also a joy. Imagine, Uh, way back to itong bata ka, tagaan ka buta na okay lang, di ba ko sa ay, I will have to thank you, but when you are given something more than you expect, mura ka mungambak sa kalit pa, ala, thank you Lord, thank you silingan, sal salamat ka sa laming ang pagkaroon, thank you sa bono sa ginagin mga tag, di ba? Can you, mag 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 pero kung dili, kung okay lang, kung mag-isip, mag-ingon, mag thank you, mga Ikson. What I am trying to say dili mga Ikson is being thankful is that it is our duty and also an attitude. Kaya ano siya dili? In 2 Thessalonians, there is something more that we need to be thankful of more than the blessings, material blessings that we have received. What are those things? But we ought always work pa lang na ought ang atong basa ni nga ought is should. So when we say should, sa English pa, English, English pa, something nga gi sobo ba? You should do this. Di ba? Should. Na obliged kang mabuhat ng Lord. Buhat ng Lord. So, ano sa dure? We ought, so ikan yung tang ought, always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters. Loved by the Lord. Because. Why do we need to be thankful? Because. God chose you as first fruits to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth. He called you to this, to this through our gospel that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ito yung isa-isa hon. Number one, there are four things we need to be thankful for. This one, love by the Lord. Right? We need to be thankful because we are loved by the Lord. And that is very 
uh, meaningful for God because it made him sacrifice his son to die because of his love. But so, that's why we need to be thankful for it. This one, second one, because God chose you as first first to be saved. God chose you to what? To be saved. That means, with that phrase, siguro ang inoong uh, na iyong butang ang word na chose, God can choose whom we save, whom we don't want to save. Tama ba? I don't know. But kung may ibutang mali ang word na chose, di ba? God chose you to be saved. It's not only your choice that you want to be saved, but also God wanted everyone to be saved. That answers it. Dili lang kay Gipili ang gino. God wanted everyone to be saved. Who are those? And you are the one. Sorry. Through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief the truth, He called you. He loved you. He chose you. He called you to this through our gospel, what is the purpose? Di ba? Kung bakit tawag doon, na kanil sa gudere, kaya kanil sa gudere, di ba? Na yung purpose ka mag-itawag ka. What is that purpose nga mag-itawag ka sa ginoo? Kamu karo na adere, itawag mo sa ginoo. God called you, God loved you, God chose you, God called you for something. What is that? To this, through our gospel, that. Ah, that's the word. That's the answer. That you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is that glory? Kung usap tong nadawat ni Cristo when he when he resurrected, when he went to heaven, kung usap tong glory na dihatag sa amahan sa iya ka sa langit, maupod inyo ha madawat pagabot nato sa langit so on. How wonderful is that? And that is a very enough reason for us to be thankful. Kapag kumpare mo ang glory to material blessings, kung saan ang glory to material blessings, kung saan ang glory to the glory that will be given to us. So, we need to be careful. We need to be thoughtful. And we need to be thankful. Those are biblical advices. And what is the best advice in my soul? To do so. This is the best advice. The best solution or advice is the one that you will do. Of course, diba? Paminawan lang. It's a kawaw. It's a very wonderful word to hear. But, ato asa ko to. Of course, it should be in your mind. Among those advices, the best one is the one. Now, my soul, the Bible is there. Plainly telling to us the things that we should do. Plainly telling to us those guidelines that how to live our life. But the best one there is, is that kung masaan ito ang buhatin. It will never take the effect if you do not put it in your life and you do not apply it to it. So, that's the message of God this morning, my soul. As we go on with our year 2020, there are things that will still be the same. But what the Bible says is that you need to be always thoughtful and always what? God bless everyone and thanks so much. Let's wrap up our.